The M1 freeway management system uses the best traffic management technologies from around the world to improve safety for drivers and make the best use of existing road space. Electronic message signs provide up-to-date information about freeway travel times and conditions. In the event of an incident, information signs provide advanced warning of what's ahead, allowing drivers to choose an alternate route. Ramp control signs give advanced notice that ramp signals are on. If needed, the freeway close sign will be displayed as part of the freeway incident management procedure. New wireless traffic detectors, also known as studs, have been installed on all freeway entry ramps and the freeway corridor. Studs are installed in pairs positioned at three locations along the ramp to accurately calculate volume, density and speed of traffic entering the freeway. They also help to measure queue length along the ramp. Traffic signals will switch on when the traffic detectors on the freeway indicate that freeway traffic is heavy. Traffic signals help create more space between vehicles joining the freeway, making merging safer and easier and reducing the potential for flow to break down. Traffic congestion on the freeway often results from a surge of traffic entering the freeway at any one time. This sudden reduction in speed creates stop-start waves, which reduce freeway capacity. This creates delays, causes driver frustration and increases the risk of crashes. Stop-start waves can slow down several kilometres of freeway traffic. It often takes the whole peak cycle for the freeway to recover and for traffic to flow normally again. To prevent traffic flow breakdown on the M1 freeway, coordinated ramp signals will automatically switch on as the freeway nears capacity. Ramp signals operate as part of a coordinated control system, talking to each other and working together to make sure that once you are on the freeway, you keep moving. The coordinated system helps to prevent flow breakdown by balancing the number of cars entering the freeway at any one time. Generally, entry ramps closest to the bottleneck are the most congested. The coordinated system works to stagger any delays across a number of entry ramps to balance inflows along adjacent ramps. There may be times when the wait on an entry ramp is a little longer. This means the ramp signals are working together to manage traffic flow and prevent flow breakdown further downstream. Overhead signals and signs alert drivers to any changes in road conditions ahead and help to better manage the freeway in response to incidents. Speed limits change in response to incidents and congestion on the freeway. Arrows direct drivers to merge left or right. A red cross means a lane is closed and must not be entered. This can provide a clear path for emergency service vehicles. Lane use management signs have been designed for easy maintenance. Signs are lightweight and interchangeable, allowing them to be easily removed from the sign casing or cocoon for off-site maintenance. The quick and easy installation of signs minimises the impact on the freeway traffic. Wireless detectors are also located along the freeway corridor to automatically detect changes in traffic flow patterns. Studs are pavement-mounted magnetic sensors with an inbuilt radio. 
Each stud and its corresponding access point are assigned a radio frequency, where traffic data is processed. And using either wired or wireless communication, information is relayed through the controller box to the traffic management centre. Freeway data stations are located at 500 metre intervals along the freeway. Data stations are made up of wireless traffic detectors, an access point and a repeater point. Roadside cabinets house a number of components that may include a freeway ramp signal controller, an optical fibre communications network link, a mains power distribution board, an encoder for digital CCTV cameras and a general purpose field processor. The field processor helps control lane use management signs, variable message signs and ramp control signs. A sophisticated communications backbone fibre runs along the freeway, transmitting data from roadside cabinets to the Vic Roads Traffic Management Centre, allowing for the reliable operation and performance of all managed freeway devices. Working in conjunction with this data transmission is a network management system that monitors data to ensure security and integrity. In case of failure, an inbuilt alarm will sound, allowing efficient recovery from the fault. The communication architecture is resilient and can provide uninterrupted data flow through alternate routes. The control system displays an alarm alerting the Vic Roads traffic management operator to any changes in traffic. The operator can view the freeway using CCTV camera footage. Signs and signals are then changed to alert road users to the conditions ahead. Overhead signals will be used to close lanes when necessary. Information signs located on the freeway and on arterial roads before the freeway entrance provide information to drivers about the situation ahead, allowing them to choose an alternate route. Exit number signs provide a location reference for emergency services. Signs and signals let drivers know about traffic conditions ahead, speed limits and the availability of lanes. They also provide a safe stopping environment for emergency services and incident response vehicles. Information signs are also used to close freeway entry ramps to provide clear access to an incident. The position and sequence of the signals gives drivers time to make the changes required. In this example, emergency services have exercised their option to completely close the freeway. Once emergency services are satisfied the incident is cleared, the freeway will return to normal.